Let's review how to assemble and use these Super Seal 1.0 connectors. It's a TE product used and found in many ECUs, including the FuelTech, Holly, Haltech, and Motec ECUs. Uh, super user friendly type of a connector, and knowing how to use these uh, is going to be a key skill to have. These come in two main sizes there's a 34 pin and a 26 pin. Uh, both connectors are essentially the same, just the pin count is different. So we'll take a look at this. Uh, you'll see one one thing here is uh, you'll see these white little tabs here, and that's actually a lock. So as you install the terminals uh, with the wires crimped onto them, this lock will put them in place. In fact, you can't actually put them into the ECU without having them locked. So it's kind of a safety feature knowing that uh, knowing that they're actually in place and all locked in. Another thing you'll notice is these are keyed. So there's multiple, for example, on the Holly EFI, you'll see many connectors. There's, there's essentially two 34 pin and then there are four 26 pin. Now, even with this closed so that it can go in, for example, this one will latch into here, but it will not latch into this one. The reason being is that each connector is keyed so you've got two slots there on this one and one slot on the bottom now not everyone is like that the other one is keyed to have two on top and two on bottom so there's multiple keying options to keep you from installing the connector into the wrong uh, receptacle on the ECU so keep that in mind and make sure that when you're wiring something up that you start with the correct connector here's an example of a fuel tech it's got two of them in there and there's the three and then there's four on this one so this one cannot go into here will not go in likewise this one will not go into here so kind of a safety uh, feature so you don't cross up any of your your system system wires or connectors these connectors have a stamp type terminal and we'll go through how to do that just so you can kind of see there this is a kind of a double double crimp style, very small uh, terminal opening on the, the side there for that to slide into the pin into the, the receptacle there and this come in two sizes one is for like a 20 and 22 gauge and then one is for 16 to 18 gauge wire uh, just make sure you're using the correct one they do look very similar you gotta look pretty close to see uh, which one is is larger than the other we're gonna go through a couple ways to crimp these this is the technically correct tool here uh, to crimp both sides of the terminal at once, meaning the side that crimps into the wire itself, to the conductors, and the one that, that crimps around the insulation. And then it's a standard type W crimper that you probably have in your toolbox right now. Uh, those work just fine, but we'll go ahead and go through each one. Like always, you're going to start by stripping off a little bit of the wire. And you can see here, typical situation. The wire is going to go into the first portion of the crimp and the secondary portion will go around the insulation. With this crimper, you'll see it actually has two sides to the die. One side is the W shape and the other side is, is kind of a round to get that uh, insulated part. This is actually the W side and this is, this is the round side. So we're going to go ahead and find the uh, where it says on here we're crimping a 20 gauge wire. So we'll go ahead and get this situated. And once it's in there in place, sometimes those uh, the little ears on those can spring out a little bit, so I'm um, giving them a little bit of a squeeze with a uh, pair of little needle nose before you put them into the crimper can help. But you're just going to put it all the way in, make sure it's in where it needs to be, and then make the connection. And you can see, it's kind of interesting how these ones work, is that those two ears back here actually fold next to each other, one's in front of the other, and... The crimp there looks pretty good. So that's the one method, and we'll go ahead and show the other. Okay, we'll go ahead and use the second method here. We'll do two separate crimps. Go ahead and get these fit into the crimper itself. And we'll go ahead and slide this in. This method works works pretty good. Let's see, go ahead and get that crimp down. Okay, now we got that. Seems to pass the tug test. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the back side. Go ahead and crimp the insulation. Kind of a strain relief is what that is. And there we go. I would say that this is 
but the other crimper gets a little bit better finish and whatnot, but that'll get the job done. Okay, uh, installing the wire into the connector is pretty simple. You're going to make sure that this is clipped up. So if you can see those, those are the up position. And again, it won't go into the ECU uh, receptacle with those up, which is a good thing. And that is actually a lock. So the wire will not go in with these up, with this down. It has to be up. And then, of course, to go into the ECU, it has to be pushed back down to lock them in. So you can install it in whichever hole you plan. And then push it all the way in. Now it'll come right back out, which is how it's supposed to work. Now as soon as you clip this down, make sure you can clip, clip it down, okay? It should be in place. All right, there you go. Now you can put this into your ECU. And you're in business. If you found this video helpful, uh, check out some of our other videos and uh, let us know what you think in the comments.